Welcome to Chamber Exchange, a TV show. My name is Tim Murray, President and CEO of the Worcester Regional Chamber of Commerce. And Chamber Exchange, a TV show, is an opportunity to uh, us to bring on guests uh, who are doing good things in the community, businesses uh, that are creating jobs, and talk about uh, economic development in the region. I want to thank Bank Hometown, who helps make the show happen. Well, speaking of, uh, of doing good things in the community, I'm really happy to have Diane Carter, who is uh, with us today. And Diane, you have been uh, such a tremendous advocate on behalf of firefighters, first responders across the globe, if you will, North America, uh, as well as military personnel, in making decision makers in government, in the private sector, uh, hospitals, uh, understand the issue of um, PFAS or forever chemicals mm -hmm. and in particular it's, it's a personal story to you because your husband Paul is a Worcester firefighter uh, the Telegram and Gazette has done a great job covering your story and and the work that you've done to get leaders in Washington DC and other places to recognize uh, that you know the gear that firefighters put on to go in to put down a fire protect people save people unknowingly at one time or maybe in some cases people knew had chemicals in it that that could cause could cause cancer correct so um, so tell us about how you started on this journey and where we're at so thank you thanks for letting me speak on this today um, you know Worcester is ground zero for this operation it did begin with my husband's cancer diagnosis in 2014 28 year member of the Worcester Fire Department and um, you know Paul was the the firefighter that was too big for cancer and when he did uh, succumb to uh, early um, retirement because of the um, diagnosis it just led us down a path that led to research and I think that this is one of those stories that there's more to it than just this activist because it wasn't just me leading this charge. There was a voice I kept hearing, um, and I have to be truthful about that. There was someone always telling me to keep moving forward. Yeah. And what we found was that firefighters turnout gear is the most heavily fluorinated textile known to science. Um, I think if you think about that, the Superdome maybe has these chemicals on their roof yet a firefighter's turnout gear is more more uh, fluorinated. Mm -hmm. Now you think about the... And fluorinated, that, that means just treated with these various chemicals? Treated with the various chemicals. But the equipment is so technical because it's three layers. It's an outer shell that's treated with the chemicals. Then the inner uh, material is called a moisture barrier. That's literally a Teflon sheet and then the, um, the uh, closest to the skin of a firefighter is called a thermal liner. So our 2020 study with Dr. Graham Peasley, funded by Last Call Foundation um, in Boston, found it was the first study ever done, and it was um, organized by a firefighter's wife, largely because the institutions are captured by the uh, organizations that my husband, the corporations that my husband and other Worcester firefighters are suing for their cancers. And so, you know, what you were able to do, and you talked about this voice, I mean, your husband Paul, well-respected, you know, hard-working firefighter, mm -hmm. but, you know, his cancer at, at a relatively young age, mm -hmm. other Worcester firefighters, you saw there was, you just felt that there was something there. Oh, yeah. uh, but then as you began to work with others, you saw kind of this trend mm -hmm. uh, across the country. Um, yes. What we were learning was that the cancers that firefighters were contracting were the same cancers that the Robert Ballot C8 science panel discovered uh, were known to cause cancer from these chemicals. Um, if, you're, if your listeners are interested, they should follow um, the documentary, The Devil We Know, that stars Rob Ballot and Ken Cook, as well as the movie by Mark Ruffalo, who's also the executive director. Yeah, and, and, and that movie, and you know, the, the movie uh, Burned, Protecting the Protectors, is a 30-minute film that, uh, that aims to 
spotlight the concerns that you uncovered. And what we've mm -hmm. seen is you brought this up, the Worcester Firefighters, you know, the union kind of took this up, then you got the attention of the Massachusetts State Firefighters, and, the, and then eventually Ed Kelly and the International Association mm -hmm. of Firefighters. And there were people that were kind of dismissing this for a while and say, ah, she's, you know, well, you know, it doesn't make any sense, but as you brought on more people and raised the awareness, there's this proof. And then we've learned about forever chemicals in water and other places. So this is really this, uh, steamrolled, if you will. It has. It really has. The, um, the, insti the, the International Association of Firefighters has a new president, new general president, Boston firefighter Edward Kelly. Right. And you're going to see him at Burned when we have our premiere in June, and he has truly taken this to right to the desk of President Biden. Right. And, you know, we're so grateful for the space that he's made for us and the network that we've achieved um, that has the support of firefighters from across the nation. And I think it really is a network, and it's, a, it's a, truly a tribute to activism and what we can do as an organized group. Um, even if you are under a chain of command that does not allow you to speak out on such topics, right. what we saw happening was that local fire departments were, you know, organizing themselves and getting their own studies right. to follow our study. And it's happened from Massachusetts to Indiana to Florida to Washington State, California, Alaska. Uh, it's it's truly such a movement. Right. And you mentioned, you know, uh, Ed Kelly, the president of the International Association of Firefighters. I mean, he's worked and advocated with the White House. I mean, literally, yeah. President Biden now has, in, has funded monies out there for researchers to come up with alternative equipment that will protect firefighters but don't have these chemicals. And also, uh, there's, as you mentioned, legal action to kind of hold mm -hmm. people uh, accountable. But let's talk about the event that, and, and the movie that is going to tell the story. The movie, uh, the, one of the executive produ producers is Mark Ruffalo, the famous you know, actor. Uh, some people may know him from Spotlight and Hulk. Oh, he was the yes. Hulk, too, I think. <laughs> but he, he was executive producer. And this movie tells the story, Burned, Protecting the Protectors, this 30-minute film. And uh, it's going to come to Worcester. Yes, we're holding the Massachusetts premiere yep. at the Hanover, yep. the Jewel, and the Hanover is so special to me because, you know, that's a place. Your father had worked there, uh, Worcester icon, Johnny D. De Benedetto. he managed the Lowe's Poli Theater, which yes. is what the Hanover used to be known as, mm -hmm. from 1942 to 72. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you're going to be part of a, pr a film that's going to premiere there. Mm -hmm. To talk about this really important issue, it's going to be Sunday, June 11th at 6 p.m., you mentioned uh, Ed Kelly's going to be speaking, but some other people as well. Absolutely. Dr. Graham Peasley, nuclear physicist from Notre Dame. And we have uh, DuPont's Worst Nightmare. We have Robert Ballot, who's hosting a book signing. You can pre-order his book, He's Exposure. He's an environmental attorney. Yeah. Yes, he is. Yeah. And we have our Last Call Foundation and firefighters. And we also have the PFAS law firm. That's the IAFF endorsed legal team hired. to take this on to Capitol Hill. So uh, in, in the, the film, Elijah Yetter Bowman, who is the director editor of the film. Yes, he right, is. Right. Mm -hmm. I heard him recently on the radio talking a little bit, a little bit about it. So tickets can be found on the Hanover Theater website, which mm -hmm. is the Hanover Theater, and theater is spelled T H E A T R E mm -hmm. dot org. Uh, tickets are 25 to $35, and all proceeds benefit the Last Call Foundation. We just have a moment or two left, but the Last Call Foundation does what? Oh, my goodness. They uh, were formed after the tragic death of Kathy Crosby's son, Michael Kennedy, in the Back Bay Fire. Boston Firefighter. Boston yes. Firefighter. And what she's done has taken um, forward a national footprint for the safety of firefighters, not only in Boston, but she supports Worcester Firefighters, has partnered with Detect to get together for screenings for Worcester Firefighters. Right. She's got a national footprint, and she's my hero. Yeah. Well, you're a lot of people's heroes for your advocacy, not just for your, your husband, but for firefighters uh, and, and, and first responders who are in this protective gear across the country. So thank you. Thank you. And uh, June 11th, uh, 6 o'clock at the Hanover Theater, 
burned, uh, protecting the protectors. Uh, this movie's getting a lot of attention. Be prepared here in Worcester. Thank you. So, thanks, Diane. Come back with us. We're going to talk a little bit about skin cancer awareness with uh, the good weather upon us. These days, you've got your hands full in life. That's why we help you bank simply and securely with tools like Face ID and Touch ID. It's why we make it easy to make purchases on the go and get cash back while you're at it. Why we help you quickly deposit checks wherever you are. And it's why we lend a hand with sending and receiving money right from your phone. So even when you're on the move, you can manage your finances. Bank Hometown. Unlock your potential.